Hey everyone, in today's video, we're diving into One 2.1 Fusion X, which is a powerful community enhanced version of the One 2.1 video model that's one of the best local model that produces the highest quality video. With the original One 2.1 from Alibaba, you already had an incredible base text to video and image to video generation. But the problem with this model is that it has a very long generation time and it sometimes took more than 50 plus steps just to get a few seconds of a decent footage of a video. Fusion X solves this issue by trimming the generation time to as little as 8 steps by not compromising with the quality of the video. And to go over how Fusion X makes this possible, one 2.1 Fusion X merges multiple high-performing LoRa's to create a new kind of model, one that's faster and more cinematic and capable of coherent motion and fewer steps. First is CauseVid, which is a real game changer. One 2.1's original diffusion model is bidirectional, which means it processes frames in both forward and backward directions to keep things temporarily consistent. It works, but it is very slow, like 50 steps just to get a few seconds of a video. You get high quality motion with only 6 to 10 steps, which is insane. And this LoRa is already baked into the Fusion X video model. Another LoRa that is already baked in is MPS Reward LoRa, and this LoRa is trained to reward outputs that have clear motion and stable object consistency and fewer visual glitches. Another LoRa is MovieGen 1.1, which is all about cinematic polish. Uh, this LoRa basically tweaks lighting and color grading and transitions between frames. And finally, the ACC Video LoRa, and this one specializes in accurate video frame alignment. It basically means making sure fast moving or complex scenes don't fall apart as object shift positions. And you can think of all these LoRa's coming together and being combined with the One 2.1 base model. Learning how to use RunPod for Comfy UI is by far the cheapest way to run Comfy UI in the cloud if you don't have a local machine ready. Before we dive into the workflow, I also have the cloud RunPod template for the One Fusion X video model, so you'll be able to test this even if you run into VRAM memory issues or you don't have a strong GPU set up locally. The author says it takes around 138 seconds to create a 81 frames video on 1024 by 576 resolution and this is on a RTX 5090. The Fusion X video model is based on one 2.1 14 billion model, so you'll need more than 16 gigabyte VRAM to run this workflow. But there are also guff version of this model that is available in the Hugging Face repo. Although I'm using the native Comfy UI node, you can also use One Video Wrapper by KJ, and this wrapper node will enable you to use Sage Attention for a 30% speed up. Under the performance tip, it also tells you not to use Tcache, and this is because the Fusion X model already runs on very few steps, so it's going to really reduce the quality of the video if you use the Tcache node. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using the native Comfy UI nodes to run this workflow. I have two different workflows available in my GitHub link. First one is the image to video and the another one is text to video. Both of them uses the FP8 version of the 14 billion video model, but you can try using the FP16 model if your VRAM permits. Based on some of the community discussions, the FP8 version and the FP16 version produces almost identical results with very little difference in terms of quality. Let's download the workflow so we can compare the results. After you download the workflow, you can just drag and drop it inside the Comfy UI interface. The only custom node that this workflow uses is the Video Helper Suite custom node. You can either go to the custom manager and install the missing nodes if you don't have it, or you can go to this GitHub repo and download it by git cloning into the custom nodes folder. I'm first going to go over the image to video workflow for the One Fusion X model. The workflow takes a still image, runs it through the Fusion X Enhanced 1 2.1 model using the image to video generation and produces a smooth MP4 video file. The first node is the unit loader which loads the Fusion X model. You can find the download link for this model under the link that I provided in the description. We also need to load the appropriate V model and the clip model and the clip vision model using the model loader nodes. 
the positive prompt goes under this clip text encode positive prompt node. You can create any prompts that you like or go to the Civit AI page for this video model and see some of the examples that other users created. I would also recommend you to use the GPT-4 model by uploading the image and asking it to create a image to video generation prompt. You can leave these negative prompt node by itself since the Fusion X model is created with the 12.1 as base model. It sometimes recognizes Chinese language as a better prompt. The important node that creates this whole process work is the one image to video node, takes in the positive and negative prompt conditioning and the vision encoding from your image and the actual image itself and the VE model. Inside the node, the image is transformed into a latent and the latent is processed based on your prompts and setting and the output is also a latent sequence of frames. And we're going to be using the K sampler node to denoise this latent image and process it into a video. You can also set the width and height of the resolution and the length is the number of frames. In this case, the video combined node has a frame rate of 16 frames per second, so the resulting video will be about 5 seconds. I'm also going to compile all my templates inside this Google Doc link, so you can use this sheet to find all the appropriate template link. Now I'm going to be running some examples of image to video generation. I'm first going to use this image of an orange cat and ask GPT-40 to create a prompt for an image to video. I'm going to then copy the prompt into this text box for the clip text encode and I'm going to run the workflow after loading this image on the load image node. You can see the log for the comp UI and run pod by clicking this box button on the top right corner of the interface. After waiting about 3 minutes for the generation, I got a pretty good video of this orange cat in military. The camera movement is very smooth and there aren't any visible glitches on the video. I'm also going to try generating a video for this image with a woman holding a pistol with a retro style photo. On the first run, I made a mistake because I used the same image of this orange cat with the prompt of the woman holding a pistol and I got a very interesting video but this is not really what I wanted so I'm going to change the image on the load image node and run the workflow again. And after waiting about 3 minutes, this is the result that I got. The result again is incredibly smooth and the person's face is also retained properly. The style of the photo, which is a kind of a retro style, is also maintained throughout the video. I've also tried generating an image to video using this photo of a model holding a sign. Although the face in the resulting video is not as similar as the original photo, the movement of the person is very smooth and there's no visible glitches on the limbs like other video models. I've also tried generating another video using this photo and the resulting consistency of the face was a bit better than the previous photo. I've also tried another generation of this firefighter trying to put out a fire in a building. One thing that I could have done to make the video a bit more consistent and better is to make the resolution of the resulting video the same aspect ratio as the original image. So when you generate the video using this workflow, you can try that out. Now we're going to try testing a text to video generation using One Fusion X. But before you do that, make sure to stop the pod and terminate the pod or else you'll be incurring the cost of running the GPU. If you just stop the pod, the GPU cost will not be charged and only the storage fee will be charged. But if you want to stop being charged for the storage fee as well, you can terminate the pod. I'm going to deploy another pod with the RTX 4090 to test the workflow for a text to video generation of One Fusion X. The link for the run pod template is available down in the description below. So I'm going to click the pod and deploy. The container will start and start to download some models that are required for the workflow. This process takes a bit of time, like about 5 minutes. You can see the process of the download using the logs button here. And when the container is finished downloading the models and it's ready, you'll see the log in the end that container is ready. Once you see that message, you can click connect and see this HTTP port service link. If you click this button here, you'll be directed to the Comfy UI interface. Once the container starts, you might not see the workflow ready. In this case, you can just download the workflow from my GitHub page and simply just drag and drop into the interface. The download link is available in the description below. The workflow is almost identical to the image to video workflow, but this case we don't have the load image node. We can just simply type in the prompt into this text box and click the run button. I'm going to try generating a video of a female ninja holding a katana. 
After waiting about 280 seconds, this is the result that I got. The resulting video is extremely high quality and smooth without any visual glitches. I've also tried generating a more realistic video of a woman walking down the beach, and this is the resulting video that I got. I've also tried generating a video of an astronaut walking on Mars, and this is the resulting video that I got. And again, the video is super cinematic and very high quality. And here are some other couple of generations for a video of humanoid robots and a dragon in a fantasy setting. And a mage walking down the forest with the winter setting. Other than the image to video generation and text to video generation, there are also workflows available to combine Fusion X model with Vase and Phantom in order to track the movements of the original video and combining multiple objects into a video for consistency, which I will cover in the next video. Once again, if you want to try this Fusion X model in the cloud very cheaply, you can find all the RunPod template link in the Google Sheet that I provided in the description below. If you had any questions and are stuck setting this up locally or running this in the cloud, you can join my Discord channel and I'll try to help as much as possible. Thanks a lot for watching.